For many years, Denmark has been a hub for test and demonstration projects in the global wind industry. Practically any part of a wind turbine can be tested here. By testing each component in the turbine, as well as prototypes, potential design and production errors can be identified and corrected. This is important to ensure product quality for developers and investors. Also, it is much cheaper than to correct errors after the turbines have been mass-produced and installed around the world. On this tour, we will visit some of the Danish test facilities. Our first stop is the test centre Østel in northwestern Jutland. It opened in 2012 and offers test facilities for nine full-scale prototype wind turbines. Certified test and validation of turbines requires an average wind speed of at least 8 meters per second at 100 meters altitude. Usteil provides ideal wind conditions for this. It is currently the only place in the world where measurements on wind turbines of up to 330 meters in height can be made. Usteil is operated by the Danish Technical University, DTU, who has a long history of working closely with the wind industry. The close collaboration between industry and academia is the foundation of the success of Danish test facilities like Usteel. It provides ideal conditions for the industry, while enabling academia to stay tuned into the industry challenges and opportunities. Wind turbine technology is constantly advancing, and the industry is constantly pushing the limits to produce more efficient models with larger rotor sizes and more powerful generators for greater outputs. One of the wind turbine manufacturers present at Usteil is Vestas, one of the largest wind turbine manufacturers in the world. By testing its wind turbines at Usteil, Vestas is able to thoroughly monitor the reliability and performance of its turbines before serial production commences. The second stop on our tour is the Linu Industrial Park. It is a former shipyard located between the North Sea and the Baltic Sea. Linu is an example of the unique closeness of the different players in the Danish wind industry. Denmark's largest technological service institute, Force Technology, is present here with a component and structure testing facility. The international steel contractor, Blatt Industries, produces foundations for offshore wind turbines here. And the wind turbine manufacturer, Vestas, produces offshore wind turbine nacelles at the park. At Linu, we also find a Linu Offshore Renewable Centre, LOC, which is a full-scale wind turbine nacelle test centre. It's taken over 20 years to build up the facilities at LOC, and it has been constructed to ensure that the next generation of offshore wind turbines can withstand the harsh conditions out at sea. The industry park forms a unique setting for the test centre, as it allows for the lifting and transporting of heavy test items. To your right, you can see an example of the infrastructure, a massive gantry crane. It has a lifting capacity of 1,200 tonnes, and its range can span from the road to the dock. This allows for large components arriving by sea or road to be lifted directly into the test halls, which all have removable roof sections, allowing for easy installation. Inside the halls, we find three nacelle test benches, a 14, a 16 and a 25 megawatt. They allow for testing the most powerful onshore and offshore wind turbine nacelles and drivetrain components. The test benches are used to verify the performance and robustness of a nacelle's electrical systems, as well as grid compliance. Highly accelerated lifetime tests are also performed, which can reliably verify the expected lifetime of a wind turbine. The last visit on our tour is LM Wind Power's Technology Centre at Lunasco in Jutland. With its roots in Denmark, LM Wind Power has been a front runner in blade development and testing for over four decades. A rain erosion test centre and a wind tunnel are among its test facilities in Denmark. They ensure the development of innovative, long lasting solutions that enhance the performance of wind turbine blades. We are now standing inside LM's Test and Validation Centre, where some of the world's largest and most advanced wind turbine blades are tested. The hall can accommodate flap and edge tests, which subjects the blades to fatigue loads corresponding to 20 years of normal wear and tear. 
This is done by setting the blade into millions of oscillations, edge and flapwise, while an infrared camera checks for small cracks in the laminate. We end our tour back at Test Center Ustil to enjoy one last view of some of the newest wind turbine innovations. In Denmark, world-class test facilities provide a unique setup that allows industry to set new international standards and push the limits of wind power. I will leave you here to enjoy the view.